So people are demanding your time. You're like a printer. You can only handle five jobs on the press, but you have 25 requests. What are you going to do? How are you going to meet all these expectations? There's just a flood of things coming at you. It feels like you're in a hornet's nest. Sound familiar? Here's a tool that will help you get out of this. Here's a boundary that you can set that will really be effective. Instead of over-promising and under-delivering, why don't we work on under-promising and over-delivering? Let me show you how to do this. You see, what your clients really expect from you is quality. They really don't want speed. Therefore, they're willing to trade speed for some quality. Mr. Jones, I realize that you're going to need that done by tomorrow, and I'm prepared to do that for you, but I know that your primary aim is to get high quality from me, and I'd like to do that. I'd like to get this done by Friday at 4 o'clock, or how about Monday at 5 o'clock? You'll have the best darn job that you're, you're really going to get what you're paying for. You're going to get the value that you should expect from me. Mr. Jones says, absolutely. I'd rather have the quality instead of the speed. Always negotiate speed with higher quality, right? Under promise and over deliver and then schedule it out in your calendar because you don't know what's going to come up. You make a chance for all those serendipitous things that may come up in between you might have to take care of. And then what you can do is let's say you schedule it for Monday, get it done by Friday. So now you're showing that you're getting it done faster. Under promise and over deliver.